Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. I'm here with Jeff Frick, who is my co-host for this segment. Yeah. We're here at VMworld 2013. We're live at Moscone South. We're at the street level. Stop in, see us. Just come into the lobby, look to the right. You can't miss us. Arna Yosefberg is here. He's the CTO of ServiceNow, one, one of our favorite companies on the planet. We were at, at, at ServiceNow's No 13 conference in Las Vegas uh, in May. Jeff and I did that show, and it was just an amazing experience, wasn't it, Jeff? Arna, we talked to you there. Welcome back to theCUBE. Hey, Dave, thanks for inviting me again. Yeah, so Great to be here. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know Sir ServiceNow, I mean, it is one of the hottest companies on the planet. I mean, essentially take the, 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 the Salesforce and Workday model and apply it to IT, just making IT workflow better, and, uh, and that's what ServiceNow does. You've got probably, you've got passionate customers, as passionate as, as VMware customers. I mean, it's just amazing, right, Jeff? I mean, yeah. what we saw, the testimonials that you have. Customers bake cakes for you guys and send them to you because <laughs> they're so happy <laughs> with, with the outcome. You guys are making IT professionals heroes. It's just heroes, it's an amazing story. Frank Slootman's running the company. You know, now $6 billion valuation, rocket ship. Fred Luddy's a rock star. It's just, if you don't know, uh, uh, th this company, ServiceNow, check them out. They're absolutely amazing. So anyway, congratulations on all that uh, success. But for Thanks you, it's relatively new. You're just getting started. and yeah. You're here at, uh, at VMworld. Um, yeah. And I know you're giving a session, so so give us the update. What's new since we last talked to you? Well, uh, you know, uh, thanks for inviting me ag again. It's great to be here. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened. Your knowledge was as recently as May, but it feels like it's been <laughs> a thousand miles you know, <laughs> between now and May. And uh, let me uh, give you a couple updates. Uh, first of all, the company's growth story is just uh, continuing. Uh, so we announced our uh, Q uh, quarterly earnings, and uh, uh, for that quarter, we exceeded 100 million for the first time. And actually, uh, it positioned us now as the second largest pure play SaaS player in the industry, right behind uh, uh, Salesforce. Salesforce yeah. So we passed NetSuite and Workday. So you know, wow. the uh, the growth story continues. And uh, you know, what I find really remarkable is even at our size now, our year-over-year uh, uh, -year quarterly growth was 80 percent, which is you know uh, pretty amazing. So. This story continues, you, uh, I mean, you stole my thunder here. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love talking about I'm, your We're company. done, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can leave now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and it's really about the customers. Uh, you are at Knowledge, uh, and I spend a lot of time uh, with customers right now, and uh, just came back from a trip. And I was wi uh, visiting a large IT organization, and a guy had moved from one company to this new company, and in his old job, he had implemented ServiceNow. And as he uh, and he has just been on this new job for a couple of weeks, and insisted that at his new company they implement ServiceNow. And, you know, so uh, I'm not sure if Dave Schneider, our uh, head of sales, is listening, but actually our best salespeople are our customers, and we see sort of this organic growth, this enthusiasm of the platform. You know, customers having great success, and as they move on to the new company, they want to repeat that success in their in their new job and sort of bring in. Uh, service now. Well, and the story's astounding. I mean, I, I don't know if you know the number offhand as, as to how many customers you have. Uh, yeah. do, do you know the number? Yeah, or yeah, we have, uh, we have about 1,800 yeah. customers. And, and, and uh, you know, Dave, when I uh, started at ServiceNow, which was uh, less than two years ago, I think we had about 700. So the growth of you know, number of customers, the growth of revenue, employees, uh, all those and, and charts. So, are so the reason I ask that question is to, uh, to underscore how under-penetrated ServiceNow is yeah. within yeah. IT. I mean, it, you know, VMware, Oracle, they have 500,000 customers. Yeah. So you guys are just <laughs> getting started here. So that's, that's why you know, we're so excited. When I travel around, I, I, I ask IT practitioners, do you know about ServiceNow? And a, and a lot of them don't. No. You know, so you have an amazing opportunity ahead of you. Of course, you know, granted you're going to see more competition, and yep. you know, the big guys are, you know, they're slow to move, <laughs> but they are moving, but still, yep. your, your offering is superior you know, yep. by all accounts. You just talk to the customers and you find that. So, 
So there's a lot of upside yep. uh, to, no, to no question, no, no question. No question. So talk about what you're doing here at, at VMworld. I mean, obviously there's a lot of potential customers here, but you've got a specific uh, VMware angle, don't you? Yeah, we do. Uh, uh, we actually have a session uh, later today where we're going to talk about a new feature in our platform that we just released called uh, Cloud Provisioning. And uh, you know, it's really interesting. Uh, you know, if you remember from our last talk, uh, you know, our platform is based on a rapid applica uh, application development platform at the base, and then a suite of SaaS applications. And you know, we started out uh, in the service management space, incident problem change, you know, help desk service management. But there's a very natural extension from uh, service management into operations management. And uh, you know, by operations management, I mean managing infrastructure, so in this case, virtual machines. And you know, the, the, the way we think about it is, uh, there's more to it than uh, uh, spinning up a virtual machine. This needs to integrate in your overall IT processes. So the way, uh, you know, you really don't want SEs to log into a vCenter server and make big changes to your environment and suddenly your whole data center goes down. So uh, uh, you know, VMware and other companies do a great job at what we call that element level, those very specific technical tools. But we believe those tools need to be wrapped with IT process, change control, CMDB, configuration management, um, incident management. So we don't think about these individual tools, we think about bringing it all together in a coherent framework uh, for IT. So it's very natural for us to sort of get into uh, what we call orchestration and cloud provisioning. So essentially from our platform, uh, the, uh, that's a feature we're going to demo today, uh, you can essentially initiate provisioning of a VMware uh, VM uh, behind the firewall or an Amazon EC2 AMI running on the public cloud. We're really agnostic uh, about that underlying technology. We provide sort of the glue so it brings all of that uh, together. So very, very easy. I mean, that's uh, one of the hallmarks of ServiceNow is we make IT easy. So we'll uh, you know, demo today how easy it is to fully on automated uh, create uh, a VMware uh, virtual machine. Yeah, and talking to customers of ServiceNow, one of the, the ones that have the most success actually have moved to a, a, a change management database, a single source of, of record. Yes. Um, that's a headwind, though, for you guys. It's an organizational headwind. So I wonder if you could, could talk about that a little bit in terms of how you're helping customers you know, get through that knot hole, if you will, because it's a critical enabler. I mean, you get a lot of value out of ServiceNow mm -hmm. regardless, but yep. when you go to the CMDB, the single source of record, yep. you talk to all your customers, and that was the defining moment in the explosion of value creation. So it's a, it's a key hurdle that you guys have to get over, and it's an organizational hurdle. Absolutely. Is it one that you just have to let play out, or the things that you can do, either technically or, or business model-wise, to facilitate that? Well, uh, uh, first of all, that notion of a single system of record is absolutely so powerful for yeah. our companies. And uh, you know, most situations, uh, uh, when we talk to prospective customers, they, they've been on these legacy tools. You know, I spent several years in IT myself, and uh, you know, the biggest problems with IT, it's a very fragmented environment. You got a bunch of different point tools, and those point tools have driven uh, fragmentation uh, in your organization. You have these isolated islands of network engineers, DB engineers, app engineers, and they sort of don't work together. So in most cases, we found that IT has got to a point where they're just throwing up their hands. They realize they need fundamental change. Typically, uh, they're running on one of these legacy systems that uh, came out of the on-prem environment, you know, systems that weren't really designed uh, for the cloud. So uh, we really get in there out of necessity. Um, things typically get so bad that the CIO and the IT leadership realize they need fundamental change. And that's, that's sort of where we come in uh, with our sy uh, single system of record. Okay, now you have a session this afternoon, is that right? Yep, yep. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so that's our uh, uh, cloud provisioning. So we'll show how uh, you're from sort of a single pane of glass, uh, use service now to reach in behind the firewall to manage uh, uh, VMware virtual machines. You can spin up new VMs. You can uh, modify VMs. Everything's handled under uh, change control. Everything's tracked. Everything's recorded in our CMDB. So you have a single source of truth. You have uh, audit records for any changes that are happening in, in your environment. 
So that's sort of the value uh, we layer on onto the underlying technologies that VMware and Amazon and other technology pr uh, players provide. So this is at uh, 11.30 in Moscone West, right? Yes, that's, that's right. That's room uh, 2011? Yes. All right, cool, so check that out <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, as I was saying, Jeff, I mean, it's been amazing to, to watch this story. And, uh, it, it is, and, and I, I, my favorite part of the story, I mean, we talk about all the time, people, tech, and processes, yeah. but, but, the, but the other piece is really the passion, and what, what I was amazed, and we continue to see with you know, very well-run companies, there's passion at the top, so you have that with Fred, mm -hmm. and then there's passion all the way down yeah. to the bottom, to the, to the people that are actually putting this in play and have to overcome hurdles like the CMVD implementation and have to have a little bit of wind in their sails yeah. to get over these hurdles. And, and what impressed me most at that show, and I encourage everyone to take a look at the on-demand videos if you haven't seen them, is the amount of passion all the way from Fred yeah. down to some relatively uh, junior level folks that we, that we talked to on day three that were really feeling transformed in their ability to deliver value within their own business and really transforming their own careers. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Jeff, that's really what makes this job exciting. Uh, you know, having been here uh, for two years, it's uh, going into a customer site and see what we can do to help IT be successful. You know, we don't, uh, we don't work around IT as some of the SaaS pl uh, players. We're here to enable uh, IT, make IT successful. And, and it's so rewarding when you go out and see sort of how IT become heroes uh, within their enterprises. It's awesome. No, finally they can solve the business problems. They're not sort of bogged down uh, by managing infrastructure. They can focus on business process and business value and solving uh, uh, enterprise problems. You know, it's a huge change. So check out ServiceNow, ServiceNow unbelievable company, zillion references, talk to any of their customers and, and you just won't believe the, the stories. Arna, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. Good luck with your session this afternoon. Okay. Thanks for, for coming on. Thank you very much. All right, Thank keep you. it right there, everybody. We'll be back. Martin Casado is here. He is a great guest, so uh, we're going to talk about software-defined networking. Stay right there, we'll be right back.